Jones writes, hello AMC movie crew, love the show. After having seen Captain America the Winter Soldier and X-Men Days of Future Past, I had I had to reshuffle my Mount Rushmore of superhero movies, which now consists of The Avengers, The Dark Knight, X-Men Days of Future Past, and The Incredibles. With more higher quality superhero movies being made of late, I was wondering what superhero movies would you put on your Mount Rushmore? Thanks now, and keep up the great work. Before... Captain America Winter Soldier and X-Men Days of Future Past came out. My Ru Mount Rushmore of comic book movies would be, in no particular order, Avengers, X-Men 2, The Dark Knight, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2. Wow. To be that, that would be my Mount Rushmore of comic book movies. And then Captain America Winter Soldier came out and X-Men Days of Future Past came out and they both just kicked our asses. They were so good. And I have not had enough time to let all that marinate with me yet to see if I am going to boot one or two of those movies off my Mount Rushmore to replace them with either Captain America or X-Men Days of Future Past. Those movies are both so damn good. Like, they're, they just, both of them exceeded everybody's expectations. And we're, they added something different to the comic book thing. This is really cool, too, because we're seeing in comic book films the importance and the elevation of narrative more than we used to get. Before, comic book movies are just boom, 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 action, 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 fun, fun, fun. But we're seeing, like, with X-Men, with, with Captain America, we're seeing a real emphasis being put on narrative that's blending in with all that other stuff we love so much. It's, it's tough. So for today, it's still <laughs> Avengers, Dark Knight, X-Men 2, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man 2, but I may change that next week. I don't know. Dennis, what would yours look like? Mine is similar to Anton's list, except for I'd take Incredibles off and I'd put the first Iron Man there. So I have X-Men Days of Future Past is on my Mount Rushmore now, after seeing it. Wow. Yeah. Mine would change probably by the time this is over, but, uh, but <laughs> I have in my head right now, I would actually put Dark Knight, The Avengers, X-Men First Class is what mm. would, would be there for me, and uh, The Donner, Superman 2. That is a great one. Chris Lee is nodding in approval over there, I am, because that's the only thing I would switch is first class with The Incredibles. Because I like The Incredibles, but first class was epic. Now, and the reason I would, I would disqualify The Incredibles <laughs> is because it is not, they're not comic book characters. They are, kind, they, are, they are superhero characters, but they are not comic book characters. They're not based on a comic book. So that's the only reason I would disqualify that, because everybody knows so much I love The Incredibles, and it just it makes the issue even more complicated if we <laughs> include that. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.